Half minutes. Without objection. Mr. Speaker, all afternoon we've heard about the freedom to be uninsured. Seniors in my district do not want us to repeal government-run Medicare so that they, so they can enjoy a freedom to be uninsured, and those without insurance now do not view themselves as enjoying some freedom. They want insurance. The Republican substitute responds to the Comprehensive Affordable Health Care for America Act with a bill that fails to reduce costs, fails to cover uninsured Americans, and it may study, but it does not help those with pre-existing conditions. It does, however, attack innocent victims of medical malpractice. One recent study showed that medical malpractice represents less than one-third of one percent of all health care costs, and yet the Republican substitute seeks to blame our broken health care insurance system on innocent victims of malpractice. For those victims, the bill limits the ability to hire a lawyer, complicates the lawsuit, shifts the cost of medical malpractice from the doctor to the victim's own private insurance, and in some cases causes the injured victims to lose the right to sue before they even know they've been injured. None of these unfair provisions were passed during previous attempts when the Republicans controlled the House, the Senate, and the White House, and they should not be passed now. The substitute should be defeated. I yield back the balance of my time.